Right, hello. In today's video, I've decided to make a new series where I basically just make silly, wacky, and stupid creations that have no practical purpose, such as this one here, which is a walker. Now, you can make much more efficient walkers that just spin and are less complicated, which actually get you to the end. But, but this walker is just purely designed as a stupid vehicle, which I, I hope I can make an, into an actual proper series on my channel, because I haven't uploaded it in uh, ages, which is why you should subscribe so you get notified when I upload, but I, I haven't uploaded in ages. Well, that's because I've not had any ideas on what to upload. So I'm just thinking about a stupid vehicle series where I build stupid vehicles and tell you how to make them uh, a bit like my other tutorials but with stupid vehicles instead of random concepts like roller coasters, trains, doors. So yeah, this is a tutorial on how to build this silly walker. Alright, so what you need for this simple walker is an aeroplane seat, lots of hinges, a uh, light block such as wood and plastic, small amount of heavy blocks like titanium, obsidian or gold. If you wish to figure out which is heaviest, I made a video about some comparing weighing scales uh, with my catapult tutorial. A uh, screwdriver tool, simply so you can unanchor the creation. And a scale tool for convenience, but you don't actually need the scale tool. So. Basically, you're just uh, going to need scale tool to scale big, the big platform here and these bars across, a uh, screwdriver tool to unanchor, and the titanium is used in the bottom of the feet just to make sure that there's a bit of weight in the feet and that they all keep in the correct direction. And the light blocks are just to build the actual main craft itself. So, to begin, what you want to do is go into your build it tool, find the titanium block, and this will be the bottom of your feet. I'm just resizing the uh, build menu here. So, once you have the bottom of your feet, build the side, and then you want to count six blocks upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you should have six plastic blocks upwards in an upside down T formation. And then what you want to do for the cross beams is just along the edge build a couple hinges like so. Those should connect legs together. Then a hinge here so that it can connect to the main body. You want to build this again but at least eight blocks apart. So I am going to use the trowel tool but if you don't have trowel tool, you can just rebuild it again. So eight blocks apart at least, but if you go slightly further apart, it does actually make it a little bit more efficient. Which is a bit, a bit nice that on a stupid vehicle, you can have optimize the efficiency. You want a bar across the top, which if you don't have scale tool, that is perfectly fine. You can just build it with blocks, but using the scale tool is a lot more convenient because you can scale the bar outwards and then outwards again like so. Then just approximately within the center of the build you want to find your your pilot seat, plonk it in the middle, uh, I'm just going to unhook it from the pistons that it is connected to. And now once you have that, this, uh, you should be able to rebuild these legs exactly the same on the other side of the craft. But since I have trowel tool and I'm making a video, uh, so I want to go by quickly, I'm just going to clone it over, rotate it around, and yes, so pause the video till you have something that looks a little bit like this. 
and make sure you have uh, you are pausing if you can't keep up with the video as I am just going at a reasonably fast pace. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is to build these beams across which connect the front and back legs together and when I was designing this ages ago I couldn't figure out why the legs weren't staying straight and parallel to the floor. So then I added these cross beams in and it solved a lot of my my issues. However, there is one problem uh, where if we leave them in the state that they are now, they'll collide with each other and everything will break. So you need screwdriver for this. So you select all of them and turn collision off. And then you want to afterwards add struts between these two feet like so and and then also turn collisions off for those so they don't collide with the main body of the craft and this should be it now if you want to add decorational stuff uh, this is fine uh, what I like to do just to make it look less chunky is scale inwards the cross beams she looks a lot better and then um, you can do whatever whatever changes you want uh, uh, such as adding passenger seats uh, to to the vehicle like like so now there is one issue of how do we get up here because our jump is not as tall as the craft so normally you would just want to grab out a pink candy and jump up. But if you haven't redeemed the codes or just don't have the uh, the candies if the codes aren't available, uh, you want to just build, build a staircase upwards using a bunch of different parts. Or use a part that you can get from chests, uh, more, more likely common, uncommon and rare chests. I don't think you can buy it from the shop. And the, this truss part, you can actually climb up it, which is very useful. I still have the pink candy effect applied, so I jump quite high up. If you don't have the truss part, you can also use this part, the uh, beam part, wooden rod, this, this one is called. Just place it once every single block. And just like the truss, you can climb up it. Now if you don't have either of those blocks, as I haven't shoved them into the, the area of what you need, you can just um, uh, pi uh, make a, either a pillar upwards using wood below your feet, or also build upwards to the top and just make a spiral staircase. I've got candy effects applied, so I'm not really able to intuitively show you how this works. But it should at least help you get up. <clears throat> now once you have found your way into this craft, it is time for the very complicated bit on how to control this. But I have forgotten one thing. I have not yet saved this stupid vehicle. Because something that is really weird is if you don't save it, then you unanchor it, it just becomes a weird blob. I wasn't actually expecting it to do this, but <laughs> it's quite funny. But if I load it in, again, it should all be fine. <clears throat> oh, my candy effects have worn off now, so I can demonstrate the spiral staircase. It's a bit of parkour, but it's not. That difficult. Now, once you've saved, reloaded, gotten into your craft, you hold forwards and it starts moving backwards. And then you hold backwards and it starts moving forwards. And steering is weird because it just slides along the ground centered about the seat. Now the reason this stupid vehicle works 
is because in this game, the pilot seat is the thing that rotates your planes. So it just rotates your planes instead of the plane actually having any intelligent control surfaces. And uh, basically that means you can use it for really stupid vehicles like this one. But it can also be used for sensible walkers, which I might do a tutorial on, uh, that, that are just a big T, a big plus sign of blocks with a seating area in the middle that also roll with the pilot seat. But that is why this really stupid vehicle works. And it's not very fast. And if I try to fight the water currents, something really weird happens where, well, not particularly weird, something kind of silly happens where I am slower than the water. I started walking before this tree, and now I am after this tree. And, uh, that... <laughs> ah, right, I was waiting for this to happen. Sometimes, no clue why. But the entire thing just compresses upon itself, and then it just becomes a glorified pancake rolling across the floor. Which I don't know exactly how to fix. All you have to do to, to fix it, to my knowledge, is just roll around using the steering keys, and uh, hope that it uncompresses like this. But yeah, this was the stupid walker design. Make sure to uh, thumbs up the video so lots of people see it. Subscribe because I upload a month monthly at the earliest, and uh, even worse uh, 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 upload schedule. Otherwise, and uh, yeah, like the video, subscribe, and um, goodbye.